sleep. I had horrible dreams. I kept dreaming that the police were searching the house and and everywhere they looked, they kept finding bits of me dad. He'd, he'd been chopped up like someone out okay, of a horror please. film. please. Well, it doesn't take a genius to work out what that Look, means, can we change it? the subject, please, oh, love? What if they search the house today? Just I mean... keep your voice down. Craig went out ten minutes ago. He's fine. Oh, yeah? And what about the fella on the step? Just shout a bit louder and we'll both go down for it. We'll take out an ad in the Gazette or hang a banner from the rooftop or better still just open your big fat gob. Mum, calm down. I am calm. <sighs> Discretion, Katie. Try using some. And if you get panicky, just hang on to the fact that by tonight, that wrench will be somewhere else or not here. OK? What on earth are you doing? <laughs> well, Auntie Ella, it's Schmeichel's first birthday, so we're baking him a special doggy cake. Oh, <laughs> right. Is that my leftover stuffed marrow from the other day? Uh, possibly, yes. I was going to microwave that for lunch. <sighs> Uncle Roy said it were like pig's liver. There were no liver in it. I mean, pig swill. We've each made him a card. You can sign mine if you like. Oh, oh they're very uh, glittery. <laughs> yeah, the, the glitter makes him sneeze. It's funny when he sneezes, isn't he, Chancellor? It, it is funny. Yeah. Mm. I love my dog, Uncle Roy. Do you love him too? Well, do you, you know, Chesney, I never thought I'd hear myself say this, but that dog is... Yeah, well, he, he's, he's, he's my friend. Mm. Yes. Have you never seen identical twins in specs before? So, uh, you know, what's the big deal why the Sunday dinner time drinks? Hurry up. I might if I've been seen out in these specs. We've got thingy, conjunctivitis. Oh, uh, well, um, I don't want to say yet. I want to wait till the others get here. No one else is coming. This is it. Oh, well, I'm leaving you today. I'm going to Bob Norregis. I'm going to be a red coat at Butlins. <laughs> This lady used to be a nurse. Can you believe it? Heavens! Oh, she, she stood by that philanderer of hers when all those uh, accusations were being made. But now she's not happy unless she's bearing all and confessing her connubial proclivities. She seems to get on very well with that other lady. Hmm. Yes, well, I think the National Health Service is better off without her. They should pack her away to America. They love a no frills floozy over there, don't you agree, Emily? How do they get their bodies so shiny? It's baby oil. It gets everywhere. Oh, it's usually Deirdre comes in that way. It's open, Deirdre. Oh, Tracy, what a lovely surprise. Um, Norris and I were just going to take a, a, a constitutional. We were. Why don't you stay and um, have a natter with Ray and keep him company while we get some exercise? Come on, Norris. All right. Yes. See you later, Ray. Cheers. Cheers, Emily. Ah, I can't concentrate. There's no point pretending I don't care that she's next door, because I do. I know it's irrational, but I can't help how I feel. And how do you feel? Second best. Taken for granted. You know, every time I suggest anything to you, or anybody else for that matter, I get an argument or a reasonable discussion in return. Ray wants something, he just flutters his eyelashes and you women drop everything and rush to help him. Well, I'm fed up with it when you've quite finished. Well, I think I've got a right, don't you? Flutters his eyelashes, does he? It's not so much that as waggling a death warrant. I know, I know. And I know this sounds incredibly selfish, but I don't want to lose Tracy after all we've been through. To someone who walked out on her 26 years ago. You're not going to lose her. But blood's thicker than water, Deirdre. All right, then you will lose her. If you carry on like this, you will. And you'll lose me as well. Feeling sorry for yourself. It's not you who's staring death in the face. You're right. It's our very own superstar in the making. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I don't actually perform to start off with, but I will be part of a totally professional team of chambermates of the highest calibre. That's what it said in the letter. Uh -huh. 
You're a cleaner. Hey, come on, everybody's got to start somewhere. Yeah. And then, fingers crossed, I'll graduate to being more in the spotlight later. So, Sonia, you're leaving us, babe. Does that mean I've got to buy you a drink? Oh, no, no. It means you've got to buy us all a drink. <laughs> hey! 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 Yeah, if I could ever stop crying long enough to get my makeup straight. Can I come? Um, look, to be honest, love, I, I think you'd find it too upsetting. He's me dad. How upsetting can he be? He's dead. He won't look like him. He'll look like someone else, like. Like a waxwork. Are you going? <sighs> I think we should all go. All say goodbye together. Please, Mum, I have to say goodbye to him. Please. Right. Then we'll all go together. expect to find you, Mammy, here. Yeah. Where did you think she'd be? Jersey. Jersey? Aye. Billy Walker. She went with him before she went with me. He'd gone over there to open a wine bar. So why did you come back here? Well, I wasn't exactly sure. I reckoned there'd be somebody around here from back then who'd be able to tell me where he got to. And here we are. Hmm. I always imagine everybody's got wanderlust and they don't. Because here I am 26 years later and she's 20 years from where I left her. So you want to spend the rest of your life in Coronation Street? Yeah, well, at least my mum gave me some consistency. The only thing that was consistent about you is the fact you weren't here. It wasn't just that you wanted to try something different. You wanted to forget about us. Well, maybe that's true. Maybe that made it easier. Did you really hate me that much? No. I never hated you. Only that's what it felt like. I mean, it's fine to come from a broken home. I mean, they told us that often enough at school, and all those kids that shared their time between two parents, that was fine and all. But you know, it's a bit of a show up when you can only pinpoint your father's whereabouts to a particular country. You know, sometimes I think it was better if you'd have just died. What can I say? Well, sorry would be a start. It's <laughs> yeah. one word that's been tripping off my tongue more often than any other these past few weeks. I reckon it'll be on my gravestone. Yeah, but I'm listening now. Sorry. Tracy, I'm sorry I wasn't here. You screwed me up, Ray. It's all down to you. For leaving me and... Making me believe that somehow it had something to do with me. That everybody was just going to leave sooner or later. So what was the point? What was the point in anything? So you're completely blameless for anything you've ever done wrong in your life? Don't you dare lecture me. I am telling you how it is. And if you don't like it, then maybe you shouldn't have come back. I'm 
sorry, Dad. It's not your fault, Kay, <laughs> is it, Dad? It's all right, darling. <laughs> It's my fault. It's all my fault. Come on. It's Kate and Craig, love. Hey, Dad. Kate's a bit upset. I'm so sorry. Never thought we'd see your makeup. <laughs> all the times you'd have a go at me for wearing makeup and look at you now, eh? <laughs> it's Sheffield Wednesday colour. Kate's upset because she thinks that uh, this is her fault with everything that went on between her and Martin. <laughs> Would you just tell her she's soft? Come on, love, try and be strong. <laughs> you don't want to see you upset. Yeah, just try. Try and say goodbye. Make your peace. <laughs> Dad, uh, I, uh, I want, I want you to have this. Um, look after it from yeah? Because I know I'm going to miss you. And I'll never, ever forget you, I promise you. And, and these two are. Uh, you don't have to worry about them. I'll look after them. They're in good hands here. So no, no fretting, yeah? You won it at the fair for me. I didn't let it out on my sight for months. I was gonna, gonna give it to the baby, but... <laughs> He'll keep me company. I'll just have a few minutes with it on my own. Is that all right? I'll just be outside. <sighs> we very nearly went for X Factor, didn't we? Go on, tell them what we call ourselves, Jess. Mirror image. <laughs> <laughs> I practically came out of the womb with tap shoes on. <laughs> I got punched in a karaoke bar once. It's my voice, it's my instrument. What? She sings. <laughs> All right, sing, son, you sing, sing. sing. Son, you sing. Sing. Just one voice. <laughs> Singing in the darkness. Holy is one voice oh, can somebody so shut her what's up? on your mind and then you Hello. look around and Great. shout it out Sonia, your cap's here. Oh. <laughs> Thank God for that. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, don't worry. Right, you ready now, son? <laughs> There's just one thing I've got to do. She has got a great future. <laughs> what in cleaning? After that, I know you're not going to Mr. Baldwin. Yeah. Hello. Hello, love. I'm off. I wonder what that smell was. <laughs> I don't want to go through my life with any regrets. It's good. And if I don't do this now, I'll only regret it. Fair play to you, love. Fair play. So, did you used to read me stories? Only I've got no memory. Every night when you went to bed. Did you? What nursery rhymes? Well, what was my favourite? Three blind mice. You always liked the bit where the farmer's wife cut off their tail. What, with a carving knife? <laughs> I always did have a vicious streak. <laughs> well, cheers, Ray. Nice one. Oh, my head's in bits. I don't know what I'm thinking, never mind what I'm saying. Look, if it were a bad idea for me to stop... No. No, I'm glad... I'm glad you're here. Well, I'm rather you were here than not. It's a start. Well, it's just... I need to know stuff. Like... Is there any brothers and sisters that are gonna crawl out of the woodwork when you die? 
sorry. No, I'd like nothing more than to have brothers and sisters. Well, I've got them on my dad's side, but they're not blood, so... No, nothing. I always was a bit of a disappointment. Oh. Well, that's who I get it from, then. You're not a disappointment, Tracy. I could sit here all day, just staring at you. My little girl. I oh, don't say that. Come here. Why should I? Because I'm your dad. Yeah, but I don't think you are. I used to be. Once upon a time. Mm. So do I. So does Roy. Mm. And so does Michael. Mm. When I'm older, mm. I'm going to have my own chain of burger bars. I'm mm. going to be a big posh chef. Mm. Only I won't sell burgers. I'll sell pies. Mm. You two can come and work for me. So this with a smile. And I'd let dogs in. There'd be a special smoking section for people that smoke and a special dog section for people that like dogs. I wish I could stay for the rest of my life. Which Michael likes it here. It's all over now, Tommy. All the suffering. I'm sorry you suffered so much watching the kids grow up and going off and doing what they did. And I'm sorry that being a parent and everything that brings I'm sorry it caused you so much pain. But the pain's over now. You can rest. Find some peace. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> this is stupid. I don't know why I'm worried about saying the wrong thing. It's only you. I suppose I... I just want to say what's right. Oh, Tom. <laughs> you know, I fancied you for ages. Me and the girls on the wall by the chippy, making out we didn't care, and you and all the other casuals drinking cider looking dead at. And when he got Daryl Spencer to ask me to go to Reflections with it, I didn't sleep for a week or eight. My feet didn't touch the ground. I used to practice my name in my school rough book. Angela Harris. Always had a ring to it. <laughs> I want to be back there. Slow dancing to Betty Davis' eyes by Kim Cairns. <laughs> and you making out Betty Davis were a dinner lady at your school. <laughs> I just can't believe that I'm never going to see you again. <sighs> Tom, <laughs> will you watch over me? <laughs> Please. I just don't know I'm, how I'm going to get through all this. But if I know that you're up there watching, then... Don't leave me, please. I can't bear that. Tommy. Do one last thing for me. Nobody else, just me. Just take care of this for me, yeah? Thanks, love. You know, <laughs> if I could turn back the clock, I'd have been there earlier. You know that. You do know that, don't you? 
And I'm going to keep on talking to you. I'm sorry, but I am. So if you see me talking to a wall or a door or the telly, then I'm really talking to you. And I'm never going to stop. I... I... I love you so much, Tom. <laughs> Sleep tight, darling. Hope the books don't bite. You're ready. Right, Dad. 